Welcome to how to use the employee specification buckets, otherwise known as the filing cabinet button here. And you'll see this button all over the program. I'm in the employee screen right now, but say if I go to the print TNA report, this button will show up. Uh, edit TNA, there it is again. And what this is used for is to filter out specific uh, people or groups of people to work with. So it's like a filter function. Let's click on it here. And uh, we'll start with the bottom section here. So these are employees and basically how it works at the bottom here. Anything on the left hand side you have unselected to view. So if I hit OK now we'll see here that I have nothing to work with. But then if I just select one employee here, and I can do that by double clicking, or you can use this little arrow here to move one person over at a time. And we hit OK. And we only have Alan and Bacon here. So above this area here, we have our different codes that we can select or unselect. And it works the same way. Everything that we have on the right hand side, we have selected to view. Anything that is on the left hand side, we have unselected to view. Now then as you can see on the left hand side, we don't have any text in there. That's because if you look on the right hand side, everything is on the right hand side. So if I click on the department drop down, I have all my departments. On the status drop down, I have all my status codes. And then on the shift drop down, I have all of my shifts. So let's say I want to take sales and remove them from my view. I can just hit this little arrow here and then that will remove anyone that is attached to sales. Now you can see at the bottom, we have removed about uh, five people there. There was 13 there before, now there's seven. And that's because the sales department is now on the left-hand side. So I can move them back over by hitting this arrow to move them back. And now all of my sales people are on the bottom left. And then if I hit select all, then they are available to work with on the selected side. Works the same way with the status code. So we'll just take the drop down here and we'll select this little devil. Take the terminated code and then hit the double arrow. Moves only the terminated code and now my terminated people are hidden. Works the same way, if I want to bring them back, I can move it back over, and then they will be available to select. We also have uh, the Remove All button here, and on the other side, Select All, so I can remove all my departments. Removing all my departments means I have no departments to view, so that's why there's zero people here now. And then I can also select all instead of doing one at a time select all and now everyone's back and available to work with